guys? James Carter TV here to recap the final four matchup between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Wisconsin Badgers. And I usually do not do college basketball videos, but this game was so fantastic. This finish was yet again so fantastic, including the Kentucky Wildcats. I feel the need to come on here and talk about it. So that's what we're going to do. And you know what? I will also do the national championship because it is a national championship. So make sure if you are not subscribed yet to click right up there in that corner. That way you are subscribed and you know when that video is uploaded. That way you can watch me again. And I know you want to do that after this video. And follow me on Twitter at James Carter TV. You might as well. Uh, and, you know, this game really, again, I mean, it really verified what I already knew. And it, that is John Calipari is one hell of a coach. This guy is one hell of a coach. He's one hell of a coach. I mean, I, I, am I saying it enough? He's one hell of a freaking coach. Okay, the Wisconsin Badgers were up 40 to 36 at halftime. Okay. The first half went well. Uh, Julius Randle, you know, uh, kind of strained his hamstring, but he came back later on in the game. You know, there was some stuff going on here and there. Dakari Johnson got a little chippy with one of the Wisconsin players. I'm not exactly sure who. They're all white, so it's hard to discern which one it was. But things got a little raunchy, but it was good back and forth action throughout the first half. Um, and then to begin the second half, Wisconsin hit a three. I wasn't sure exactly who it was. But one of the Wisconsin players hit a three, and Wisconsin was up 43 to 36. And we're only a minute into the second half, and then John Calipari calls a timeout. He calls a timeout. And I'm like, that's a little early to call a timeout. And then right after that, immediately, Kentucky goes on a 15 to nothing run. They score 15 straight unanswered points. You saw great plays from the Kentucky players. You saw great plays from guys like Dakari Johnson inside, getting offensive rebounds, putting it back inside. You saw players from James Young. He was uh, basically Kentucky's offense for the most part today. He had some big shots here today. Julius Randle wasn't in the game for most of the beginning of the second half, but when he came in at the end of the second half, boy, was he making plays. This guy is really special to me, and I, I'm really starting to go back to where I was at the beginning of the season. After the first week or so, I said, wow, Julius Randle, I would probably take him in the top three picks. I kind of backed off of that when the season kept going on, but now I'm back on it. This guy has the potential to be dominant. He's the most NBA-ready right now. Jabari Parker is right next to him, but honestly, I think he's NBA-ready uh, right now. Julius Randle, he, he can... He has great range all around the court. He's so dominant and physical. He has a lot of finesse to his powerful and physical game. And I really love that. I really love Julius Randle's game. And I love seeing him dominate. I mean, honestly, he hits that lefty uh, hook. It's just it's a lefty hook that's so hard to grasp and master at the NBA level. And he already has it done. He already has it down as a freshman. That's, a, that's unbelievable to me, but we're not here to talk about the NBA prospect, Julius Randle. We're here to talk about this game, and like I said, it was back and forth action. Right after that 15 to nothing run, Wisconsin came back with a run of their own, and it was a game of runs after that. Quick and short runs, but runs nonetheless, and it ended up being Kentucky, obviously, who pulled it out last seconds of the game, obviously. That's the way they have to do it. They were down two points. Well, I'll back up a little bit, actually, before that. The game was tied 71-all, okay? And Wisconsin had the ball with about, yeah, let's back up to 18 seconds left. And um, I forget the kid's name. I'm really not great at college basketball names. I'm not a big college basketball fan, but... Um, I think it's Johnson was his last name, and don't quote me on that because I'm gonna be, I could be entirely wrong on that. But he drawed a foul on a three-point attempt, went to the line, but was only able to hit two out of the three free throw up uh, shots. Um, and right after that, Kentucky got the ball, won up the court, and then Aaron Harrison did it again, and I couldn't believe it. Honestly, this guy has ice in his veins, and 
this is a team for the freshmen, and I, it astounds me how much ice in their veins. They play like a veteran team when the clock is winding down in the few, last few moments of the game. That is when they play their best, and they're a freshman team, and that's what they do. It's unbelievable to me. And, and he, Aaron Harrison, hits this three from at least 26 and a half, 27 feet away at the corner. Uh, not the corner, corner, but you know, the arc, if you will. Uh, and it's just, it's unbelievable to me. It, again, uh, yet another th big three Aaron Harrison has hit. He obviously hit the one against Louisville. He hit the game winner against Michigan. And he showed up yet again here in the Final Four, hitting a big three to seal the victory. Ultimately, because Wisconsin went up the court and was unable to hit the game winner. And Kentucky is going on to face UConn in the... NCAA championship on Monday and I will be back here to talk about that game as I did this one what were your thoughts on the game uh, are you a Kentucky fan are you uh, an innocent bystander like me is your bracket busted because I'm pretty sure every single one uh, every single person in this world's bracket is busted it's busted I mean I had Kansas winning the damn thing I mean turns out I was right ultimately I think uh, I, I was right to think that freshmen were going to get it done only problem was I picked a freshman on the wrong team. I should have been looking at the freshman on this team over here in Kentucky. But I did have Kentucky beating Wichita State. So at least I have that to hold on to. James Carter TV. I'm out. Peace.